Thank you for choosing the Genie Wireless keypad. The following will walk you through the programming and mounting process. See the description for times if you need to review a specific step in the process. It is recommended to complete the programming of the keypad before mounting. Activate the keypad by opening the battery compartment, pulling the protective tab, and then reinstalling the compartment door. Programming will not be lost when replacing batteries after programming is complete. Before we begin programming the keypad, we will review the buttons and indicators. At the top is the program key. Below that is an LED indicator. And finally, the numbered keypad with the up-down key. The LED will flash each time a key is pressed and entry is accepted. The LED and program key will flash slowly while the number pad backlight remains on for 15 seconds, indicating a successful program or a valid pin has been entered. The LED, program key, and number pad backlight will flash rapidly, indicating a problem with programming or if an invalid pin is entered. You will need to wait 15 seconds until the backlight shuts off to re-enter a valid pin or reset the keypad programming. If the keypad has already been programmed, or at any time the programming should be erased and started over from the factory default, follow these steps. Press and hold the program and up-down keys together for approximately 5 seconds. The LED will flash twice and all lights will go out, indicating the keypad has been reset. Step 1. Programming the new keypad to the opener. First, locate the programming or learn code button on your garage door opener. These buttons are typically on the bottom of the openers, facing the floor, under the light bulb cover, or on the rear of the unit, facing away from the garage door. Once your opener enters programming or learn code mode, you will have 30 seconds to complete the next step. If your opener has a square programming button, press and hold it until the round LED turns blue. The round LED will go out and a long LED will begin to flash purple. If your opener has a learn code button, press and release the button once and the red LED will begin to flash. The existing factory default pin for this keypad is 357. Press 357 on the keypad and then the up down key three to four times slowly until the garage door begins to move. The keypad is now programmed to operate this opener. Step 2. Changing the pin. Enter the current pin. Press the program key. Enter a new pin of your choice between 3 and 8 digits long. Push the program key. Your pin has now been changed and the previous pin will no longer work. Step 3. Programming the keypad for multiple openers. If you have more than one garage door opener, the following steps will walk you through the process of adding up to two more openers to the keypad. Repeat these steps for each additional door. Enter your current pin. Press the program key twice. The LED will start blinking once per second. Enter the total number of openers that the keypad will be operating, either two or three. Push the program key. The LED will blink twice and shut off. Press and hold the programming button or press and release the learn code button on your garage door opener and the LED will begin to blink. Enter your pin on the keypad. Press the up down key. Push the number of the desired door, either two or three. Press the up down button three or four times slowly until the garage door operates. Repeat this step for each additional door. Step 4. Operating the openers with the keypad. For single door operation, enter your pin, press the up down key, and the opener will operate. For multiple door operations, enter your pin, push the up down key, press the number key that corresponds with the desired door, either 2 or 3. The opener will operate. Step 5. Mounting the keypad. The keypad must be mounted within sight of the garage door or doors at least 5 feet above the floor and clear of any moving door parts. First, remove the battery cover and batteries. 
Next, drill a 3 32nd inch pilot hole for the top mounting screw. Install the included screw into the pilot hole. Make sure you leave a 1 8 inch gap between the screw head and the wall. Hook the slotted mount on the back of the keypad over the screw. Mark and drill another 3 32nd inch pilot hole for the bottom mounting screw. Secure the keypad to the wall. Do not over tighten the screws. Reinsert the batteries and battery cover. Optional programming, setting a temporary pin. The temporary pin will operate the garage door opener or openers until the original pin is used. Use of the original pin will delete the temporary pin. Enter the current pin. Press the program key three times. Enter a temporary pin between three and eight digits long. Push the program key. The temporary pin is now active. Should you have any questions during the setup process, please visit geniecompany.com and select the live chat or call 1-800-354-3643 and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you for choosing Genie. We hope you'll like and share this video and subscribe to the channel to see future videos on new products from Genie.